Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to factor quadratic expressions using the box method. It's simple and really helps you see the geometrical relations between terms. Let's dive in. Let's factorize the expression x square plus 7x plus 12. We're going to draw a 2 by 2 grid or box. The first term which is x square will go into the top left, and the final term 12 will go into the bottom right. To fill the next two spaces in the box, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give 12, and add, or subtract, to give the middle term 7. An easy way to do this is to write down all the pairs of numbers that multiply to give 12. For example, 12 times 1, 3 times 4, and 6 times 2. Now choose the, the pair that either add or subtract to give the middle term 7. That would be 3 and 4. And so, 3x and 4x will go in the other two spaces in the box. What we have essentially done is put each term from the expression in the box except that the middle term 7x is split into two terms, 3x and 4x. Note that it doesn't matter whether we put the 3x or the 4x in front since their sum is still 7x. Next, we'll factorize the rows. Let's begin with the first row. In the first row, we have x square plus 3x. The highest common factor for x square and 3x is x. If we divide x square by x, we get x. And if we divide 3x by x, we get 3. So we put x plus 3 at the top. Now let's go to the second row, where we have 4x plus 12. Their highest common factor is 4. If we divide 4x by 4, we get x. And if we divide 12 by 4, we get 3. The same numbers we already have at the top. As they should be. Therefore, the expression fully factorized is x plus 3 times x plus 4. Again, the order of the brackets does not matter since multiplication is commutative. It's also important to note that the expression represents the area of the rectangle inside, while the factors represents the length and width of the rectangle. This shows how closely geometry is related to algebra. Let's factorize the expression 2x square plus x minus 10. We're going to draw a 2 by 2 grid or box. The first term which is 2x square will go into the top left, and the final term minus 10 will go into the bottom right. To fill the next two spaces in the box, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give negative 20. And add, or subtract, to give the middle term 1. We will do this by writing down the pairs of values that multiply to give 20. For example, 20 times 1, 2 times 10, and 5 times 4. Now choose the pair that either add or subtract to give the middle term 1. That would be 5 minus 4. Notice that 5 times negative 4 gives negative 20, and 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. And so, 5x and negative 4x will go in the other two spaces in the box, in whatever order. We just need to make sure the negative sign is on the 4x, and 5x is positive. Next, we'll factorize the rows. Let's begin with the first row. In the first row, we have 2x square plus 5x. Their highest common factor is x. If we divide 2x square by x, we get 2x. And if we divide 5x by x, we get 5. So we put 2x plus 5 at the top. Now let's go to the second row, where we have negative 4x minus 10. Their highest common factor is negative 2, since the row begins with a negative term. If we divide minus 4x by minus 2, we get 2x. And if we divide minus 10 by minus 2, we get 5. The same numbers we already have at the top. As they should be. Therefore, the expression fully factorized is x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. The order of the brackets does not matter since multiplication is commutative. 